Obviously, she's a she's a tremendous player, a very unique player. Um, and she, in my opinion, when she can score, she's unstoppable. There's nobody else in our league. Um, there's really nothing you can do when Megan Craig's on. Um, and I, I really give Megan and I give the rest of their staff a lot of credit. I mean, she's really, truly improved. And um, if she continues to improve, it's going to be really hard to, to stop her. Yeah, I would agree. I, I think. Um you know, she has had, you know, such a great development and Katie utilizes her so well. Right. Um, and defensively, she can clog up the middle of the paint and, and really when we're talking about rebounds, she can control areas so well. And then, you know, if you let the ball go into her, you know that she's going to get it up on the rim or she's going to score it. And you have to, you know, have a game plan for how you're going to defend her, or defend the ball from getting to her. Um, so she can definitely, like Mo said, when she's got, you know, when she's hitting and, and she's scoring, a, it can be a game changer. I think Jordan, um, the, one, the, the best thing I like about him, he can rebound the basketball. He can score and he can drive and he's, he's, he's really, he's dynamic. But the, his ability to rebound the basketball from that position, whatever that position is, is, is really it really hurts the other teams. I mean, I, I like him as a player, a young, a young player in this league. I think he's got a bright future. Yeah, I, uh, obviously, he's very difficult to stop. Uh, he's a matchup problem. Um, you know, everyone knows different elements of his game, and they still can't stop it. And I think uh, that's part of it. He obviously can score off the dribble. He's able to get to the basket. He makes enough shots, and his rebounding really puts him in another level. But uh, he's certainly got a great career ahead of him yeah, and no very difficult uh, guy to guard uh, throughout our league. Yeah, I think he's a, a typical guy who's in between positions right. that's a matchup problem in this league. He's physical, he's athletic, um, he can really rebound the ball and the fact that he was given an opportunity to play right away as a freshman, you know, really allowed his game to, to flourish and develop throughout the course of the year and, uh, you know, like I said, if he continues to work, uh, he's got a chance to be a special player in this league moving forward. Yeah, Amber. Amber's a good shooter. I mean, she and she has a nice uh, mid-range game. You know, she can put the ball on the floor. And um, you know, like all of Hartford's players, I think they're, you know, they're really good in the system. You know, they all they're very unselfish. You know, they're uh, Amber's probably one of those players who on other teams could score even more than she has. But mm -hmm. they're such a balanced attack. You know, at, at Hartford and what they do, um, and. You know, she scores within their offense. I don't think, you know, she's not somebody who breaks script a lot, you know. <laughs> right. uh, and uh, um, you know, certainly one of the best returning players in our league, I mm -hmm. think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just think, yeah, from a confidence standpoint, she's just gotten more and more confident. And like you said, she plays, she plays well within their system and knows, you know, knows how to take advantage of their system. I think right. that's, you know, that's a big key that, you know, that she does very well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, one thing that always sticks out with me with her is, is her toughness. She just she just always seems to come up with every loose ball and every long rebound, and she just makes the big shots. And I just always I always really like that about her. Even you know even when she was in high school at AAU, it's just something about her. She just has that little edge to her. Um, you know, so for an opponent, you know sometimes that's that's a little scary just because she has that little look in her eye sometimes. But yeah, she's a, she's a tough kid, and I think she kind of. She's going to probably be that motor for, the, for Hartford this year. Yeah, she's a smart player. Yeah, definitely. You know, I think a throwback player. I think about toughness, and I think about great passer, you know, which is a lost art now in college basketball. Sees the floor, strength. Um, you know, he's a tough guy to, uh, to prepare for because he's physical, he's strong, but his game is so unique. Um, you know, he just does things that don't necessarily show up in the box score. So, um, you know, he's a player of much respect. He's won a lot of games since his freshman year and a very difficult guy to, to prepare for. I would just say winner. You know, that's the first word that comes to my mind. Uh, he, he does what it takes for his team to win. Uh, and, you know, even from his high school days, I went up when I was an assistant at Penn to watch him. Uh, you know, he is a throwback, as you said, Steve, and he's a winner. That's funny, we played Vermont when I was at Northeastern twice and we played Stony Brook too. Um, I mean, if you're gonna influence the game that much without scoring a lot of points, you gotta be exceptional at something. And I think you guys touched on, I think toughness, IQ, he's just off the charts, reminds me. I think she's tough. 
Yeah, she's just gritty and tough. Yeah. That's, that's my definition of her. Go ahead. I, I, I saw her after we lost in the tournament last year. We were in the same hallway, and they were going out to play. And I grabbed her and I said, I, I voted a few for all conference, by the way. Mm -hmm. And then she went out and hit that shot nice. to beat uh, Stony Brook, yeah, I yeah, think. Yeah. Funny thing is, I didn't know she hit that shot until September. <laughs> That's how <laughs> adamant I was after we lost. You know, one of the toughest and smartest players mm. in, the, in the conference. Um, you know, she had to overcome a lot to earn her opportunity to play. And she has taken full advantage of that. You know, she has come back stronger, you know, mentally. And physically, she can play the whole entire game and never look tired. So, you know, kudos to her for what she's overcome and, and, and becoming one of the best players in the league. Mm -hmm. Certainly one of the best point guards mm -hmm. in the league, yeah, if not the best. Leader. I mean, they're, 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 they're very, very good players. I mean, they're, um, they have that great combination of athleticism and physicality, you know, and I think that that's something where they can separate themselves a little bit uh, in our league because they're, you know, they, they really are versatile, physical, uh, and skilled players. Yeah, I mean, I think Warren, I've been in this league, this is my eighth year, is as good or big as I've seen come into this league and as a freshman, the things he was able to do, um, you know, I think he's uh, as good a player we have in this league. And Wakama is a is little, little different. He can, he can uh, step away from the basket, stretch out a little bit, but, uh, but he has uh, great athleticism and physicality. So he's, uh, he's, he's really good, obviously. I think any successful team that that gets to the dance and is good in March, you have a great player. Yep. Um, and I think, you know, Jamil, and now, now if you have a great post player mm -hmm. <laughs> at our level, that's a real luxury because yep. not many of us do. But uh, yeah, Warney's got a chance to be, I think he's a kid that, you know, can play in a lot of higher conferences. Yeah. And, but like, but that's how crazy recruiting is nowadays. Like you talk to John Gallagher about Wakama, how they recruited him. I think it was totally off film and they got him in June right. of his senior year, you know, and the, it, you know, slipped through the cracks, but very talented player. Yeah. Both kids are impact guys. And it's funny.